Doodle bud. So, we got the vacuum chamber. If you haven't seen the video yet, I put the link in the description and maybe one of those little things up top there too. But now we are ready to finally answer which pens are best for traveling on a plane. We've got some serious testing to do, so let's get started. Now this is when it starts to get messy. So after you get bitten by the fountain pen bug, inevitably what happens is you have to go on a trip. And now you really like your fountain pens and you start wondering, well, can I take them on a plane? What happens? Will it be a nightmare? Will it be a disaster? Will it be ink everywhere? What pens are best? Should I use a piston filler? Should I use a cartridge converter? What about that vac filler? Are there differences with the cartridge systems? What about that vintage one, the aerometric? Or what pen should I bring? What should I do? How should I do it? We'll see if we can try to answer that question with this video series. We're going to be testing cheaper pens. We're going to be testing very popular icon pens that everyone has. We'll test some mid-range, mid-price pens, new and old and vintage, different materials, filling systems, super expensive, everything, and we'll see what happens. First, we're gonna test these pens with a cap on, meaning you, you have the pen on the plane, you don't use it, then we'll take the cap off. What happens when the pressure goes to equalize if that cap seals it? Finally, ink level, should it be full, halfway? How should you store the pen? Up, down, on its side? The goal here we want to know, can you use your pen in flight? Is there a best filling system? And how should you be storing your pens? Let's get started. So what I'm going to do to have to record data. We're going to be scientific, so we're going to weigh each pen before and afterwards. So we need to know how much ink did it lose, where did it go. It's also why I showed you how to build it, because there are literally infinite combinations of pens and filling systems and all that stuff as well. So you can make one yourself try out different pens and play around. So first up, representing some converter pens, we have a Lamy All-Star and a Jinhao 51A. Next up, we'll do Piston, so a Twisby Eco Lamy 2000, and then Vacuum, the uh, Twisby 700R Iris, and of course the Pilot 823. So the ink I'm using is this Faber-Castell Deep Sea Green. Why am I using this one? it looks so good in the bottle when it first hits the page i thought this was going to be gorgeous but once it dries it's just kind of blah so i don't use it that much so we're going to use this sink i have a feeling it's going to get messy because that was just from cleaning a pen let alone what we're about to run these pens through the pens are filled i did sort of normal practices and so these guys are pretty straightforward fill them up as much as you can piston fillers you fill them all the way up and then like you should just let out a couple drops and then these guys fill them up as much as i can of course there's a little bit left but they're full as much as you can when you normally fill them and for the starting out we'll have the knobs closed so the first batch of pens are in there and the name of this test because we have be scientific we're calling this the doodle bud atmospheric gauge test or the d-bag for short, there was some uh, consensus from the viewers on that one. So I took some notes down, took some initial weights. So I'm weighing just the body, taking the cap off because we want to know, does any ink leave the pen body? Let's get it going. We're going to bring it up to about, uh, where's my finger here? About 200 to 220 millimeters of mercury. Okay, here we are. So the reason I'm doing that pressure there, that's going to be the differential between uh, sea level and when you're at 36,000 feet and the difference in the cabin pressure. Again, the, the first video talks about this level. We're just going to let it sit there just for a few minutes. Now, I thought maybe we need to let that sit there for uh, a few hours to really simulate a flight. But what I found out through my testing is that if they're going to fail, they fail pretty much right away so uh i'll just give it another moment then we'll depressurize and check them out time to land well i don't see anything explosive so far so that's a good sign okay so first up is the jinhao 51a let's see how the nib looks we see a little bit of ink on there yep 
So the pen weighs the same, it just got a little bit dirty. Let's check the cap, put a Kleenex down there. Okay, a little bit of leakage. Next up, we got the Lamy All Star. Just a little drop there. Let's see the weight. Beforehand, it was 1292. Somehow we gained a fraction of a gram. That's within the error of the scale. Moment of truth. Uh, just a little bit. Wisby Eco. Pretty clean, just a dab there. 1387, it was 1386, so that's good. Now to check the cap. We can check right there, spotless. The Lamy 2000, I did a series on this saying it's the best engineered pen from that perspective. Maybe not your favorite pen, but the best engineered. <laughs> oh, nib looks, you know, just a smudge. So it was 1795, 1795. So you'd think these vac fillers would be pretty good. You can see in this one, she's looking spick and span. No leakage. The weight, it was 2338 going in. We're within the error of the scale. And lastly, the 823. Clean as well, what's this? Yeah, just a little bit of water. Perfect. It was 2078 before. There we go, same thing. So, so far in the upright position, these are the winners now. We're going to flip them and put them nib down. Nibs are down. Here we go. So, there we go. We're going to let that sit for a few minutes. Let's see how the 51A did this time. A little better, I guess. Yep, same as before. How's the cap? Yeah, a little bit again. Lamy All Star. Yep, a little bit again, not too bad. And the weight's right around the same. How did the Eco fare? Pretty good. Spotless. Lamy 2000, little bit. Ooh, not so good this time. This guy's so easy to check with that clear lid. Everything's looking good and spotless. Let's try the 823, same thing. Oh, a little bit. So the winners of the first round, the cap on, nib up, nib down, full fill category are the Twisby brothers. Now, we gotta take the cap off and let's get messy. Caps are off, nibs are up. So let's seal it up and see what happens. Okay, we've reached cruising altitude. It's just a little bit of ink, mostly just from the pens here moving around on the nibs. Well, you can see it here. Everything's actually pretty darn clean. So I thought before we go too crazy, let's have them on their sides. Okay, so again, we're up to altitude. I don't see any madness. I don't see ink just gushing out of these things yet. Now it's tough to see in the camera, but you can see the lamp he's getting covered in ink. That's coming from the Twisby Eco. That thing is, uh, that feed is just, Super saturated, but keep your eye on the eco there in the middle when I depressurize. So the eco is actually perfectly clean when I take it out and it's been depressurized. It uh, did leave a mess on everybody else though. So now this is when it starts to get messy. Oh boy. So Twisby went from best to worst. So I weighed them just to see. 1370, 1369 when I was weighing it, it started in at 1386. The iris, about 0.1 grams we lost. And then the 2000, about 0.05 grams. So some of that could just be from wiping off the nib a little bit too, but those were the two best performing. Now they're the worst. And actually these guys have all done great. They haven't lost anything really. 
Okay, so here we are nibs down. I turned the jar to get a good look at the twist piece to see how bad this gets. So it seems we have a clear winner right now so far. It's the Lamy All-Star. There's barely anything coming out of there. The Jinhao, not too bad. The 2000 had a bit of a hiccup, but it sort of stopped. Same with the, uh, that's the 823. Uh, I think the Eco is just draining the whole damn thing, and we'll check out how the uh, VAC is going. I think the VAC is going to be okay, but I think the Eco is just losing all of its ink. So we definitely got a pretty good mess going on. That would leave a mark in your luggage. The Jin House started its journey at 12.2 grams. Not too bad. It was about 12.9 and change. Oh, this thing hasn't lost. It's 12.92 when it started. Okay, the Eco. Let's look how much ink we're down. <laughs> Let's see what we lost. Whoa, okay, so it started at 1386. Lammy 2000 started at about 17 here, oh, 1795, we're about 1785. VAC 700 was 2338. Yeah, we've lost a little bit there too. 823 started off at 2078, we're at 2072, so pretty good. But the surprise winner so far, the Lammy All Star. Holy cow! Now, one more quick test I want to do in these guys. So these are closed. Let's see what happens if you open it. So is it just going to be a total, complete disaster and they're just going to empty the entire chamber? Let's see. We got to do it. Whoa, here we go. So here we are. And I think you can deduce from this. Do not leave that valve open on your back fillers. So it's tough to see through all the decorations there in the jar, but it looks like, again, the, the Twisby lost a lot, and the 823, not as much. We'll take them out and weigh them and check the damage. That will not make you any friends on an airplane. <laughs> Back 700 start off at 23.38. Yeah, okay, we've lost a fair amount. 823 started off at 20.78. Not too crazy. So how do we do in the first round of the D-Bag? Well, first place was the Lamy All-Star. Now, all the pens were full. Now, we will do another test with everything being half full. Okay, because essentially what happens is if it's half full, there's more air that wants to equalize the pressure, which could force more ink out. So we're starting with the best case scenario i believe we will find out maybe who knows but first place lammy all-star didn't lose anything the jinhao barely lost it lammy a little bit um the 823 now it did pretty good when it was closed lost a bit more when it's open both of these lost the same amount which is crazy i put the the vac 700 ahead because when it was closed didn't lose as much it lost more than the 823 uh, when you open it up, though, it lost a lot more, too. But the Eco, and uh, I was suspect of this one. This was uh, the first time I flew. I there was Eco was one of my first pens. I took it with me, and it was a mess. <laughs> so that confirmed, uh, you know, real-world results, and we're simulating that, simulating that right here on the bench. So, all right, that was batch number one. That's going to give us a little information on filling systems and stuff like that. Stay tuned, there'll be plenty more to come. Hope you're enjoying this. This is going to be fun and a mess. Thanks again. Leave some comments and some likes, subscribes and shares, all that stuff. Doodle bud, signing out because what's 1230 in the morning? I got to clean up before my wife starts work at five. Catch you later.